So it was a fun show. I, I met some new garden centers, or not garden centers, I met some new uh, suppliers for garden centers. So different farms out in Louisiana that we hadn't talked to before. Some tree farms from the Southeast, like Georgia and Tennessee, uh, East Texas, some new tree farms. So, uh, but then we broke for lunch and we had so much stuff I mean, we just had just piles of stuff because my kids grabbed every free thing they could get their hands on. Flashlights, magnifying glasses, all of that. Uh, and so we were like, we can't carry all this stuff all day. It was getting heavy. So we go, let's go to the parking garage and leave the stuff in the truck. And then we'll go eat lunch and then we'll continue the rest of the show for the afternoon. Before we get in the elevator, there were three people in front of us getting on the elevator. Uh, and so they got on and it's a small elevator and it's pretty old and rickety which I had noticed on the way down. And so those three people were getting on and I go, so you guys go ahead, we'll catch the next one. And then one of the guys in the elevator was like, no, 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 we got room for you, come on. You know, we, we can squeeze in here. And I was like, okay. So we squeeze onto the elevator and that was a mistake because we get in there, the elevator goes up to the second floor where the first person had to get off uh, and the doors to the elevator opened and then the door that is supposed to open onto the second floor did not open. It just stayed closed. So we're looking at the something you're not supposed to look at, which is the inside of the door uh, in between the doors. And the whole, as soon as that happened, the whole elevator just kind of shook and then all the buttons went off and nothing was working. We tried to close the door. We tried forcing the door open. We tried all kinds of that different stuff and it just, we were stuck and it was hot in there. So, uh, because it's not a, it's the parking garage and it's outside. It's not an air conditioned building or anything. Um, so we hit the call button in the elevator, you know, the one that it says to push if you have an emergency and it worked. So that we hear a phone ringing, someone answered. It was really hard to understand them because the speaker wasn't very good. And, and we told them where we were and we were stuck. So there were eight of us on this tiny little, I mean, really small elevator. Uh, so there wasn't even really room to sit or anything. And they said, okay, we'll have uh, someone come get you out and we'll have the fire department on the way. And so we sat there and sat there. Finally, someone comes and knocks on the door and it was someone staff from the parking garage. But they were no help. They were just saying, hey, uh, we've got people coming. And we're like, okay. Department's coming. And we're getting hotter and hotter in there. Special um, the my kids were a little scared. Um, luckily, we were on at a floor. We weren't like in between the floors. Because I know that sometimes when you go get stuck in between floors, you have to climb out the top or something weird. Um, but we were at least on a floor. So I was like, if they could just get the door open, we can get out. Uh, so they said the fire department's on the way. 10 more minutes pass. Now we've been in there for about 15 minutes. Nothing was happening. It was getting really hot. Um, I was thinking it's gotta be over hundred degrees in this, in this elevator and it was just getting hotter. Then we hear about five minutes after that, uh, sirens from the fire truck and we're like, finally. And so, but then they just drove past and we were like, what the heck? And then a little while later, we hear the sirens again. And then they drove past again. And we were like, what's going on? So we had, we had been over 20 minutes in the elevator at this point. And I was like, I'm about to start figuring out how to get this door open, right? So that we can get out of here. And then we hear, okay, the technician's almost here. So a elevator technician finally shows up before the fire, fire, fire department ever got there. And... He's got his special key and he, he finally pops the door open. Now keep in mind, the parking garage was like 95 to 98 degrees because it was super hot. It was two in the afternoon and we walked into that hot parking garage, but compared to how hot it was in the elevator, it was like walking into an air conditioned room. So it, it had to have been, you know, 120 degrees in that elevator because it felt amazing getting outside to the summer heat. Um, but anyway, we got out of there. I was like, <sighs> we put all this stuff in the truck. My kids said they never want to ride in an elevator ever again. 
and but we made it and then we went to a nice lunch after that and relaxed and had a good rest of the day so yeah that was my first time ever getting stuck in an elevator <laughs>